Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to something a little bit different from my usual slate. I'll be reacting to my very first K-drama for this season, and the title of this K-drama is Dr. Slump. It came out earlier this year, January, and it's also finished, so uh, I haven't really watched a single episode, but I did see a few trailers here and there, so I kind of have an idea of what the synopsis is it's basic i mean yeah but it's basically a medical drama or medical com romance comedy so uh, i don't really want to talk much else about it i just want to get right into it this is a very is this going to be a very long episode it's three times as long as your usual anime episode right but yeah i hope you you guys bear with me with this one probably be uh, cutting out a lot of the stuff but Anyway, uh, without further ado, this is episode one of Dr. Slump, and let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Alright, so the trailer that I saw was basically the two of these guys, the two of the, the these main characters, the girl and the guy, they're honor students in high school, and they were rivals, but at the same time they liked each other. I mean, <laughs> that in itself I think is already a good uh, dynamic between the main characters. You know, uh, that's one of those like archetypal relationships, right, or the, the trope, the tropes. Like, they hate each other, but they started out just hating with e each other, but the more that they know each other, you know, the more that they develop feelings for one another. And because their foundation is like, they disliked each other, the more that they knew about each other, or discover more about each other, they're able to see the good sides of the other person. She looks, she looks very pale and very sick at this point. I'm not exactly sure why, what's going on with her. Could be over fatigue, exhaustion, something like that. I mean, she is in the medical field and usually that, that happens. I, I, I think, I think so. A lot of you guys, oh no, maybe not a lot of you guys, but there are some of you who probably know people working in the medical field and it's... I hear it's a common thing that, you know, they get very tired, um, overexhausted. And nobody, I'm not, this, this obviously doesn't happen in real life. I, I mean, I lived there for a few years, so this is not going to happen. It's always just, it's, it's obviously just a dramatization, right? Like, nobody's going to just pass, or like... Oh wow. She actually did get hit. Oh my gosh. This is the other guy, right? The other main character, the, the the male lead. I don't think it's the girl, although I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I don't think it was her. I don't think this is her. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> nice. Reverse modesty. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can never actually do that. Although I understand like, the, the diligence of... The diligence of Korean children is really something else. Studying. All right. Oh, they're both the the top student in the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I love that it's the guys who are doing this as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, wait, alright. So, I know this doesn't actually happen. I mean, generally it doesn't happen this frequently, and pr probably not to this extent, but I have heard of stories of Korean people actually fighting like this, whether they're drunk or not. <laughs> although, although I'm pretty sure it's they always, whenever they're fighting, whenever they're having fist fights, they always try to avoid the face, because if you hurt their face, you'll actually get fined for it. You can you can, you know, attack them verbally as much as you want. And probably do a lot of those actions, right? Try to intimidate him as much as possible, your your opponent. But just as long as you don't hit their face. I, I'm not sure about other parts of the body, but mostly the face. Just don't hit the face, otherwise you're going to have to pay a hefty fine. But, uh, but these uh, ladies are siblings, which <clears throat> actually I think it, it, does, it does happen quite quite uh frequently <laughs> a lot of these things but anyway anyway it's just fun to actually see these things these scenes being played out again in in, in k drama and how um uh i don't know i don't know they're not not they're not necessarily <clears throat> completely exactly like in real life 
but you know they are exaggerated but they do happen they do just just want to as far as i know and how this is so regular as well it's just the two children don't even bother get aren't even bothered by the fact that their their relatives are fighting right in front of them having a drunken food fight in front of them <laughs> anyway let's get on with it let's continue with it Interesting. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Now that's. <laughs> That's a gangster move right there. But the, but children usually won't be able to do that. So I just want to wanted to pause there because I, I, I like the fact that they're using the the idea of a healthy comp a healthy competition. I, I'm not sure how healthy the competition will actually be, but the, you know the the fact that when you have healthy competition, you, it actually pushes you to strive harder and excel further as long as you know your limits, right? Although uh, I think. In this case, just my personal opinion, just based on what I've seen from the episode so far, I think uh, Tongwu is a little bit behind because all her life, Hanel has been so obsessed with just this one goal of getting into med school and becoming the top student and she every single thing that she does has been purposeful and is moving her toward her objective meanwhile tongu is actually a little bit more lackadaisical about it i mean he's pretty chill at this at this juncture i mean i think we haven't seen how much effort he's actually done uh, to achieve everything that he's achieved so far it just seems like he's a a, a lot more lax compared to Hanul. But I'm pretty sure he's doing a lot of effort as well. We just don't see it. But yeah, I mean, it's just so crazy. I don't know if that's the right term. It's just, I guess, very incomprehensible that a teenager already knows. I mean, this is one of the things that I probably uh, regret in my life. But then again, uh, majority of people don't know exactly what they want to do at the age of, what, 16? 
18. Maybe some people do. Maybe some people already know what they want to reach in life. You know, they have a certain goal in a certain direction. And so from that early stage of their lives, they already know how they're going to try and achieve it. They've kind of mapped out every step of the way. So everything that they're doing is very purposeful. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying there are other things in life probably that are also very worthwhile, but that's also a very noble, admirable perspective. And I'm, I'm guessing the, the discipline that it requires and the kind of the training that you do to your body and your mind will definitely help you in future endeavors, because once you've reached that goal, right, what's next? So I guess that's, what's going to happen later on, right? That they're, that, that they're going to have some kind of existential crisis. And both of them will probably find comfort. That's why it's called Dr. Slump, right? Find comfort in each other because they will experience the kind of the same kind of thing. But yeah, it's very interesting. Just the, the, the depiction of a healthy competition and how it pushes people to, to become better, to become uh, more than they were before, right? Because they don't want to lose. <laughs> they don't want to lose to their rival. So that's why they strive to get better, which is basically how a lot of organizations even uh, should work, right? In in a capitalistic economy, that's how that's how it, it should be. You try to be stay competitive, but you don't try to one-up someone by underhanded tact. So hopefully none of that will happen here. But anyway, we're just going to continue. Just wanted to uh, to have a little bit of, of an aside there. The fact that he's doing it innocently as well is so funny. It adds to the comedy. Are, are they rivals as well? Oh my gosh, why is he fiddling with a knife? <laughs> oh, they were talking about him and his practice. Oh, 
사람이 하나만 알려줄게 너 이렇게 이기적으로 살잖아 너 그럼 벌받아 어? 보건복지부 장관사 성형외과전문의 <웃음> 영주정부 The irony of it all 헌신적인 봉사정신으로 국민 보건 향상에 이바지한 공이 크므로 이에 표창합니다 2023년 3월 1일 <laughs> Look at his pants. <laughs> okay, but enough of the com. I mean, for now it's all fun and comedy, but I'm guessing later it's gonna be all drama. So let's enjoy the lighthearted moments as we can. Oh, his friends from high school. I see. And I'm also pretty sure that this is a reality in Korea, especially in the academe. So I've heard stories about about it, uh, but maybe not to this extent. Um, it really depends on which professor you get. And, but probably in the medical field, it's a lot more difficult. And I haven't heard a lot of stories uh, because, you know, there aren't really a lot of foreigners who uh, go to Korea to study medicine and become doctors there. So, um, yeah, this might be, it's a lot more stressful, right? It's a lot, it's a, it's a lot more stressful environment. So it kind of uh, fuels that kind of high tension and very emotional kind of scenes. But yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure this happens in, in reality. Oh, so this is before she went out and I don't know how, I don't know what she was going through. Mm. Uh, so this is what, this was the prelude to her passing out in, in the middle of the street.
Now, I'm not sure if this is going to end in failure. But this is a heart surgery, so... Not having enough sleep, I don't know if she'll be able to actually take it. I mean, if, her if she can physically do it. Oh, but she's just uh, overseeing it. And the other doctors are probably going to do all of the minor stuff or minor steps. But I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, so she succeeded with that surgery. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh. Mm. And she's going to be called back into the hospital. Yep. That's just going to com aggravate the situation even more. It's going to just escalate even further. <laughs> okay, so this is when he will have a crisis. So, and it's always going to be like some high profile client that he might flub. And if you flub, it's just going to be, it's just going to completely ruin your career. So. These are really nice setups. No, she didn't. It was able to swerve in time, but that's definitely quite a traffic accident. Accident. At least uh, nobody was hurt. Incident, probably is best. Okay, so... She, she didn't flub any surgery. At the very least. Okay, what's... Why is there so much blood? What in the world is happening with this surgery? I mean, isn't this supposed to be plastic surgery? Like... Why is there so much blood? Oh, well... What kind of procedure was this supposed to be? Uh, uh, oh. Wait. Oh. I get squeamish when I see blood, by the way, so.
Oh my gosh, he's dead. What happened? Ooh. I guess this is gonna be medical malpractice. You know, I, I kind of have a feeling that that doctor has something to do with it. She's dead. Okay, but we didn't see exactly what happened. How it got there, right? Because they started... Like, everything was fine. Somebody set him up. And I'm guessing it's the, anesthe uh, the anesthesiologist. Or some other... Some guy who doesn't like him. Right? The, the, the jealous... Um, Sombe <laughs> from a while ago. Not sure. But this is basically going to just end his career. One malpractice is enough. And it's a death, by the way. Okay, so it's not him. Yeah, exactly. Who would be dumb enough to do that unless it's somebody who is actually planning to bring him down? <laughs> so even though he's a bit petty and jealous, he still cares for his... Uh, For his younger colleague. Uh, so it was planted. Ah. But that should be uh, disclosed before surgery. That's how it goes? I mean, shouldn't there be some kind of process to uh, ver verify who's going to be on the witness stand and such? Instead of just like on the spot. I don't know how legal proceedings work, but... It could have been planted. Okay, that's very... Very coincidental. Very... Um, circumstantial? I mean... He's definitely being uh, painted, uh, smeared in this whole trial. But who? Who's doing it? We don't know. A rival, perhaps? One of his subordinates? So she had a gallstone? And it's probably from all the stress that she's receiving from this guy. Oh, 
본인이 지쳤다는 걸 인지하느냐 못하느냐의 차이일 뿐이고 우리는 모두가 정서적 탈진의 시기를 겪습니다. 음. 번아웃이라고 들어보셨죠? 어떤 일에 과도하게 몰두하다 신체적, 정신적 스트레스가 누적돼서 음. 어, 무기력증이나 우울감 등의 증상이 생기는 걸 뜻하는데요. 지금 환자분이 그런 상태인 것 같습니다. 제가 동의하신다면 약물 치료 시작했으면 하는데. Right away. Isn't this where they're? 음. She was so physically exhausted. How? Wait, how did he get here? Isn't that a little bit too convoluted? <laughs> that he just appears here at her house all of a sudden? Although we don't know. I mean, the way that it's telling the narrative is a bit disjointed, skipping from one to scene to another. Does he know that this is her house? Okay, so they don't. So how? How exactly did this happen? <laughs> like seriously, what happened? How? How? Okay, that was a very heavy first episode, as it usually is, but it's very... Uh, okay, there's so many things that I can probably talk about, but I just want to hone in on the, the main thing here. And the fact that Hana has been so... I mean, she's been so determined to reach her goal. And in the end, because she worked so hard for it, she wasn't, and, and she wasn't able to get the reward that she wanted or that she deserved for all the hard work that she, she got and all her efforts did not pay off, which actually does happen to us sometimes. And her body just started to break down because, you know, that's when, when we get physically exhausted, right? It, it affects other aspects of our lives and the emotional 
art actually is one of the things that first starts to break down when we get so physically exhausted. And I understand that feeling. I understand the feeling of burnout. And, uh, and uh, that's why uh, if I were... Uh, if I were her friend, maybe, or if somebody, if somebody, if I were somebody that she knew, I'd probably tell her to take it slow and maybe chill, maybe, you know, take a break, have a vacation, because it doesn't seem like this is healthy anymore. I mean, it's understandable that you have a goal that you want to reach and you've worked hard for it, but, you know, it, it just hasn't... You, she just hasn't gotten her break yet. Like she, she just hasn't been rewarded for all of her efforts, which is very sad and a very painful thing to go through. And more than that, she's actually being considered uh, someone who's doing wrong, right? She's being painted as a little, not really a villain, but. She's basically just getting all of the, the negative things, the flack from her superior. And it's just, I don't, I mean, she's already a doctor, right? I'm not sure. I don't know if how worth it, how much more she's going to have to endure just so that she can get the recognition that she deserves at this point i feel like maybe you should just you know let them be and take care of yourself right take care of your own health and your body your physical and mental well-being and maybe step away for a while i mean there, there are a lot of a lot more competent doctors out there who can probably be her substitute for a while so uh i really just want uh yeah to to let her know that if if she, <laughs> if i were one of her friends or maybe a relative or family member that's what i want to tell her and with that with jongwoo though that one's just a mystery to me how did that even happen i really do feel like it's the anesthesiologist or some other guy who hates him, has a vendetta against him, wants to bring him down. Because that's the only re that's the only thing. I mean, from an outsider's perspective, that's the only thing well, we can probably think of because he's the main character and, you know, we know what's happening for the most part. That, we, that he didn't really do anything to commit that, uh, to, to do that. Or he, he didn't have anything to do with the accident, basically. So somebody planted all of those things and I don't know who it is. I don't know. I don't even know if we're going to be able to find out because I think from this point on, we're just going to uh, embark on a journey of healing and recovery for these two who are just completely broken and beaten down, battered, torn, just stripped off of every good thing in this world. All the resources well okay maybe not maybe not hano she still has family uh but i think the preview actually showed us that that's going to break down in the next episode as well but yeah these two these two are at bo rock bottom in their lives and you know if you're at rock bottom the only there's no other way but up but it's going to be a very difficult strenuous road you're going to have to do effort and to really focus on getting better. You don't have to focus on anybody else or anything else. You just have to focus on you getting better, right? your health, your mental stability, your physical wellness. Because, I mean, it, it was already said a while ago. What's more precious than a person's life? Her life is not worthless. I mean, she's got this, she's gotten this far. They've both gotten this far. So they might as well just continue with it. 
and don't give up don't give up that's that's what i'm that's not what, what i would tell them but then again i'm not the <laughs> i'm just i'm just thinking out loud but for anybody out there who's probably going through the same things that these two characters are going through just know that it's not over yet you're still alive you're breathing and as as you are still alive and you have enough strength and you have you know you can stand up and go well it, it, it actually depends if if you're hungry and if you have no shelter but if you can do something about it right uh, just go for it do what i mean still do it within you know what's right and what's good don't steal and stuff like that but I mean, I just want to encourage people out there who are probably going through some tough times. Uh, I don't know what you're going through, and I may not be able to understand what you're going through. But it's not over yet. I mean, don't give up. As long as you're still breathing and you're still here and you're waking up every morning and you're alive and breathing, there, there's still a chance to get better to overcome whatever you're going through and to achieve whatever objective you have set for yourself. Just don't give up. I mean, it's only truly lost if you've given up. You won't be able to do anything about it because you've already given up on it. But as long as you're fighting and battling and, you know, persevering, at, at some point, I, I guess this is just me uh, it may just be blind belief or faith that it, it's going to turn out well in the end. Um, but yeah, at some point, uh, the light, dawn will break. You know, it will shine and burst forth and you will see a new day. So just hang on. I think that's the final word that I'm going to say there. Uh, I, I want to know more about their story and their past. Although I think I've seen enough to know exactly how they are right now. So I'm, I'm just curious about how their journey is going to be from this point onward. Going forward, will they find love? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I think that's nudging it to, toward that. This whole story is nudging it toward that direction. Of course, there's going to be a whole path of recovery for the two of them, uh, Hanul for her burnout and depression and probably the same for Jong-woo, although his is a little bit of, di of a different case. He's going through some legal battles, which obviously, apart from the legal, there's some psychological and some kind of emotional battle that he'll be dealing with. But yeah, I mean, they're, I, I feel like this will be good. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be an emotional one for me, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, yeah, if you guys liked this episode, if you if you guys like this reaction, just please click a like. <laughs> and if you want me to re if, if you want if you have any suggestions for me to react to other I don't know, videos, shows, K-drama, uh anime, uh, music videos. I'm not really a musician, but you know anything that you guys want me to react to, and and share my thoughts or opinions on, go on and comment them down below. And thank you guys for watching with me uh, uh, with this episode of Doctor Slump. And see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.